potential for severe weather tonight. Uh, it could be a threat to thousands of kids across Wisconsin. This is the first week of summer camp, and 12 News Terry Sater tells us what parents should be asking before dropping the kids off. Severe weather drills are underway for kids at Camp Whitcomb Mason, north of Heartland. Nine year old Will Swanson and his fellow campers learned Monday to head to the lodge basement to be safe. We line up um, by the stairs and then we walk down patiently and then we go into the shower area. Will's mother remembers the helplessness of having a daughter at camp when a tornado threatened. The girls were away and it was scary as a parent being home and not knowing. What the situation was, um, but they had a plan. The camp's executive director, Sarah Rush, says staff are trained to keep more than 5,000 children safe from severe weather this summer. And if you're on the lake, if you're in the swimming pool, if you're on the high ropes course, uh, those staff members need to be trained at a high level to recognize uh, when severe weather is coming and that could be. Harmful. More than a thousand people will call Camp Os Rui on Oconomowoc's Lock LaBelle home this summer. They also have a storm emergency plan in place. Handheld radios and weather radios are used to communicate weather emergencies, and storm shelters are predetermined. And we are asked by parents, and you know, I tell them exactly what we do in case of bad weather or any other emergency that might happen. And of course, they also use the 12 News Weather app, watch the radar, and listen to weather advisories. In Waukesha County, Terry Sater, WISN 12 News. And parents should look for a camp that is accredited by the American Camp Association, which has mandatory standards, including being prepared for severe weather.